Hello friends, welcome to our Grace channel. My name is Pavel Gailens and we're continuing to talk about the beauty and the depth of our relationship with Christ and I hope you get blessed today. So the title of our devotional today is We Are Complete in Him and this verse comes from Colossians 2.10 and I have a question, you know, how many uh, saints do you think today wake up or lie down to sleep with a feeling of frustration, you know, deep frustration that they uh, that they don't measure to God's expectations. I think <laughs> many. And, you know, and the, and the saints have these questions. Is he pleased with me? Or do I need to have and keep a certain list of things to keep God satisfied? And uh, it, this is it really sounds like a Santa Claus, you know, <laughs> story. You know, and, and we could ask, you know, what is his measure anyway? Uh, what... But friends, what if there is no list, you know, to keep? There is no such a list. What if the Son of God has kept all the lists on our behalf and I simply am, am joined to His merits by sheer grace? Could it be so? Or it may sound too wonderful. <laughs> you know, look to Him and you will find that you are in Him and He is in you and what is true of Him is now true of you and that's why you are complete because of Him and if you just look and continue to look at yourself you know this that's you're going to be frustrated constantly be frustrated but Paul says you are complete in Him and nothing could be actually added to your and my acceptance, the fullness and completeness in the Lord. For example, if you were given all the riches, you know, all the riches of the world, who else could make you more or richer? Who? Not nobody, you know. And Jesus Christ is the truest riches, you know, truest riches. Can anything else be greater than him? You know, your ministry does not add a yoda to your acceptance uh, to God, you know. Wow, could this be so? <laughs> I am not more accepted because I am ministering to God. You know, Jesus is your acceptance. In His righteousness is your completeness. Do you hear these words? Ministry and church are meant to be like a, a privilege. We are given to see Him uh, him more through that but they are not you know bringing us closer to him where they're just they're always a lesser thing to the greater which is Jesus Christ and and you may think you know I'm running down the ministry no I am not we need to put it in the right place and see that our completeness and fullness comes first from Jesus Christ from who he is and our ministry is the should be outflow of that fullness that you know which is so great well may God bless us and open our eyes to see that we are complete in him amen God bless you